Adventures and Magical Folk. It's very here. It's been a long time between takes, I think that's what they say. In the background you may hear the delightful sounds of my puppy. <laughs> That is one of the reasons that I have been away for so long. Is because we have a little bundle of furry delightness. <laughs> it makes it quite hard to make videos with. And they currently don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> So I have taken the uh, puppy into the garden and popped them in their paddle pool because it keeps them entertained for hours. It's quite remarkable and it means that I can have five seconds without her jumping and licking my face so I can have a little chat. So um, it's nice out here. This is the garden of the home that we have moved to. And it's green and there's trees and it's beautiful. I'm really grateful to be here. And I wanted to talk about this time that we are in because it seems to be a thematic video that I have made over the years. This uh, strange thing that we call Lunasar down here in the Southern Hemisphere that has never quite resonated for me. And I seem to um, have come across a pattern this year and it, um, it was very exciting because some of the clues of the pattern that are now here were seeded in my last Lunasar video that I did this time last year as we were about to leave the apartment that we were in and come and move here. I sat on my balcony in the rain and there was this cloth that I now am entrouded in. It was um. I had the pool to go and lay it over the bushes in that were just outside our balcony and I knew that this cloth was for Bridget and I would wear it like it can be a scarf or a shawl and I wear it as a veil and I do aspecting work and I knew that it held um, Bridget magic in it but I did not know why I was called to lay it over the bush in the garden until recently on Instagram there's a wonderful person who does a lot of Bridget artwork and mythology and tours in Ireland and they were offering a free two week email send out from the full moon to the dark moon that covers this time of in bulk in the northern hemisphere and I thought I know that I'm not in the Northern Hemisphere and it's not in bulk, but Bridget is always so loud for me and I'd love to learn more from this person, so I signed up. And they, I checked in first, like, is it okay from Southern Hemisphere? And they were like, yep, do what you want, which is great, I like that. And so uh, within the first, first or second emails, they came every morning, I'd wake up, have my morning tea and read this beautiful email. And in, I think, the first or second email, there was speaking of a thing called the Bridey Brat. Getting a blue piece of cloth or ribbon, or even a shawl, she said. And I was like, the first image that I got was this. And I was like, that is what it is. This is this thing. And then I was like, holy shit, that's what I was doing that time, laying the bridey brat over the hedge. So as I learnt more about what this thing is, the bridey brat, it's you lay this piece of cloth outside over a bush and then on the night of the night before Imog, or Bridget's day, as she flies through the skies, she will see the cloths and she will 
uh, fill them up with the healing energy and magic for the coming year is the legend. So here I was doing it. Some part of me that is a part of Bridget knew to do it before and here I am like a year later someone's actually telling me why so that synchronicity felt so beautiful and so in alignment because a part of me feels like oh you must be doing it wrong if you're getting all the Bridget feels when you should be doing Lunasar and uh, no it just is what it is like it just is and I know it's not spring and I know there's no few first bulbs or whatever but at this time this beautiful pooling energy that is this access between Lunasar and Imbolc Bridget shines brightly for me and I think how we could all worldwide do with some more of her beautiful energy she's healing and soothing she's a warrior she's a creator she's inspiration she's midwifing new things within all of us and uh, I guess as a follower, a priestess of Bridget, of course, she's going to be with me every damn day of the year, not just at the appointed time of Invok, which I think I'm even going to change the name Invok because that doesn't sit well with me either. I'm just going to call it Bridget's Day and maybe she gets two days of the year and this today is one of them. I am... Um, I have lit candles to her at the half altar where uh, photos of her live, um, a print of hers from Ireland and an artwork of hers that I created over the last year that I haven't shared with you yet. And, um, yeah, it feels special to have made some art for her but I feel like it's the first of many Bridget illustrations that will come. And what else is going on? Oh yes, basket weaving. Basket weaving seems to be a thing that happens at this time. <laughs> this end of Bridget's Day. Uh, each year I have woven a basket of corner weaves. And um, it has something to do with the heart spirit, and something to do with Bridget, and something to do with this time. And I guess uh, if you're going to get all traditional about Lunasar, it seems quite appropriate with your harvested corn to recycle it into a basket so yeah I shared the process with some of my coven kin over the weekend just gone and, and then I shared it with my sister as well over the week and then I've continued to weave it. Um, let me get it I'll share it with you. So here is the corn basket that I began weaving for this time Quite a nice big one it's going to um who knows how big it will eventually be but we're starting to get some moles there it's round and round and round and round that beautiful spiral of life and this is all the corn husk that has been collected over the year and probably even beyond that i've got bags of the stuff <laughs> and some raffia which is that lovely almost golden paper string and so as I bask in the wonder and beauty of Bridget and her synchronicity and magic and I breathe into the summer feels the uh, strangeness of this time invasion day just gone I think that adds to the strangeness that I feel at this time it's this feeling of pressure and, mm. <laughs> and I was gonna wait and um, do this video on the other side of this time but mm, and in the way sorry <laughs> um, yeah I was gonna wait but I'm actually going to work tomorrow and then the weekend is quite full and so I thought the time is now. And so as I sit in a peaceful space, I'm going to continue weaving my corn basket in a spiral. I think I might sit out here in the beautiful afternoon, evening continue to weave 
There's like candles in Reed's honour for the hearth spirit. This time always asks me of my gratitude. What are you grateful for? This time asks. And so I'm going to weave that into my basket and into this time that I have carved out for myself. I'm going to ask us to take stock. What are we harvesting of the things we have planted the year gone? And there's certainly my garden that um, is a literal planting. I'm not harvesting anything specifically. Maybe there's some thyme I could pick. Some rosemary. But uh, I am one module away from finishing my diploma in creative arts therapy. So that's probably my biggest harvest that I am about to enjoy. <laughs> and I am... Um, yeah, it's weird. It's a weird, surreal time to be almost at the end of studying that for the last year. Which is also one of the reasons I've been away. I have been uh, growing, growing my edges, feeling into things, perhaps making myself anew in a way. It's what creative arts therapy does. It shows ourselves in everything we make. And so in learning the process, in how to implement these tools and resources for others, I of course have enacted the whole thing upon myself over the last year and it has been transformative. Hard. Wonderful. Magic. And so I sit with that now. And uh... I think one of the results of it is a renewed desire to share more of this art love and magic and art witchery. And so uh, the art witch circle has um, been renewed with the presence of beautiful Eris, fellow YouTube witchy friend and sister. And we had our live, first live art witch chat a couple of weeks ago. And sneak peek babes we're actually going to have our second one on saturday and i'm going to actually release the details oh not saturday sunday so awesome. we're going to release the details about that on saturday so stay tuned it's going to be live on my channel this time and we are going to be delving into the element of fire which is exciting and do some fiery things just chat about fire while we make art, probably. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Well, rambly ramble, ram, ram, ram. Basically, I think I wanted to share that this cloth floating on a bush at the beginning of my last uh, lunar star video was relevant. <laughs> Full circle. Here we are, a whole year, a whole year later. Takes as long as it takes, doesn't it? Thanks for watching. Thank you for being here.